So I had a few people ask me, what am I going to do now that I deleted all my power? How am I going to get my wonderful thing up and running? Whatever shall I do? Well, lo and behold, apparently a lot of people forgot that I had all these pipes back here that look really pretty. Oh, oh yeah, and maybe I have all of this. <laughs> What's going on guys? Drawing Chaos here with another satisfactory Let's Play. Hooray! And don't worry guys, we still have 29,000 megawatts of power. But on today's episode, we're going to continue working on Project Sun, which is producing 94.5 nuclear fuel rods per minute, giving us over 1 million megawatts of power. So, if you like everything you see, don't forget to give it a like. <laughs> I love it. I just built it so I could see it looking outside my base every time I load in and whatnot. <laughs> also, don't forget to subscribe if you do like the series that we're doing. Everything is all great. And follow me on Twitch. I do stream once in a while. I always have notifications on Twitter and Discord. But at the moment, I haven't been streaming as much just to make sure that I get the three videos on YouTube. And with a full-time job, uh, it's been hard. But last episode, we finished up on the right side pretty much getting everything thing that we need you know what let me fix the daytime thing i want to ah there we go 8 a.m a good time to build <laughs> wait i wonder if there's an 8.5 no no there isn't but anyway with the right side pretty good until we get to ingots we still need the stuff that's going to be on the left hand side now as you see the last thing that i built over here was the quick wire which was a huge pain in the butt so that's been taken care of. Now I need to work on some of the other stuff. So we got about one, two, three, four, five. We got seven other different things that we got to build on the left-hand side. So today is going to be chocked full of some goodies because I want to get all the base components done before we start worrying about any of the ingots. So, with that being said, if you have any comments or questions about what is going on, feel free to leave them down in the section. I love reading every single thing everybody puts in there. All six comments have been wonderful. You guys are very nice and very engaging, and I do appreciate all of it. So, the first thing that I wanted to build was this lovely monstrosity of refineries. Now, you've guys seen this stuff be built countless times, but this one is a little bit interesting because all the stuff that's built on here is the uh, crystal quartz and whatnot. The, is it crystal quartz? I'm sure it is. Yeah, quartz crystals. <laughs> Thank you, Dyslexia. Always a pleasure. But anyway, so I wanted to have it like this, as compact as possible. And one of the things with the quartz crystals, it's like around like 67 or whatever like that. So unfortunately, it was not as easy. So I need 2,187 divided by 60 equals 36.45. I want to make sure that each one is only getting 60 quarts per minute, which, you know, is not that bad. And then, of course, the water will just take care of itself. No problem. That one's pretty easy. So the biggest issue was that I had to have it even on both things because it divided by two. So I decided to up it to about 40 refineries because of the way that it would be taking only 60 pieces per minute instead of 67 would make it nice and easy. So the easiest way to think about this is normally I'm trying to produce 1,701 pieces of quartz crystal, and I divided it by the 40 lovely refineries that I'm going to have, so I got 42.525, which is not bad. Underclocking them is not a bad idea. Sure, you have more product, but you end up using like less power and that kind of stuff, and some things are easier to maintain. Um, so I had to underclock, oh, come on, click it, sorry, I had to underclock some of these machineries, all of them, uh, down to 89%, which is a huge pain in the butt to do, but for the most part, that's like the least of my sanity issues during this whole project, because this one had a extra caveat that most people probably wouldn't even dealt with if they did <laughs> So the problem that I had with it is the first two floors are even. They're 30 and 30, uh, basically manufacturers going all the way down at the far end, where the top one is 35, which is a huge issue. So not only did I have to figure out exactly how many are going to each one, I had to make sure that the top one had more pieces going into it than the bottom and the middle one. Oh my God, this was a huge 
huge undertaking because sometimes these numbers just do not work out. Also, I have it set up right here where you can see all the different mergers on the bottom, but then the last merger goes the other way and basically sends it out over there. So it wasn't that bad. But with the crystal quartz being done, it was on to the next project that we had to build. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with the quartz crystals being completed, the only thing left we need for the manufacturers to make the crystal oscillators is going to be the cable. But of course, that's not the only thing that uses cable, so this is going to be a hoot. How hard can cable be? So 56.7 constructors, I might as well up that to 57 because there's no such thing as a 0.7 constructor. That'd be just silly. Uh, so we need to figure out how we can handle this. And I love it too because we've been doing everything in either divided by two or divided by three. So 57 divided by three, easy peasy, is only gonna be 19. So we're gonna build 19 lovely constructors per floor. So I'm gonna have this set up. We're gonna do a nice little montage on a building so you can see the insanity, but not in real time though. We're gonna speed it up, you know, just sit back, enjoy, and watch this fun. Oh my god. Not bad, not bad indeed. I just have to, you know, go through and pick up all the recipes and <laughs> whatnot. But anyway, that was pretty fun. It actually only took me about, I would say about, you know, ten and a half minutes to build that all together. You know, testing it out and everything like that, which is kind of really fun. Uh, it's not bad. I just also have to figure out how to actually organize it. You know, because not all the cables going into one spot, unfortunately. All right, with another hour down to build up the rest of it and get everything hooked up and try to figure out actual math, because, you know, what would this game be without some good old-fashioned math? <laughs> but I have everything separated just perfectly so that we have everything going out into two different directions. Uh, we have the little bit that's going to go into the beacons as well as the rest of it that goes for the crystal oscillators and whatnot. So that's all good. And as you can see how I have it set up from each different layer, it's kind of a huge pain in the butt. But luckily we have all this extra space for some of these machines. I was going to have them as like compact as possible, but just some of the setups that you're going to need. Like if I did this a second time, it would be so much easier to make it more compact. But at like the first initial sign or first initial time, it just takes so much time into getting it to look good. Just, you know, working. <laughs> But as you can see from the spreadsheet of Doom, we have the crystal oscillators are complete because the reinforced plates are already down there. And that takes care of the cables for the beacons, so that's knocked off. So cables are all said and done. I think the next thing I want to go for is going to be the wire, which is going to be a big pain in the butt because that is a lot of... Like if you thought the cable had a lot of math or the quartz crystals had a lot of math, you ain't seen nothing yet. So let's get on with that because I know this is going to be a pain. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy! 
Basically, this is three projects in one. So as you remember, I built all this lovely cable that's over here and I needed wire to go with it. So all this first setup right here is just enough wire to take care of the cables that are over there. Cause you know, dividing them by three, not so bad. So I have basically 10 constructors over here, one, two, three, four, five, merged into one, going around. Then another five, one, two, three, four, five, merged into one, going around. And that takes care of the 19 constructors over here making cable. Okay, so that's not a problem. Easy, simple, setting it up, not so bad. Then we come over to these lovely seven constructors over here taking care of the stators. So we have the first one over here that splits half and half and then the other two combine nice and evenly because it's evenly going all the way down. And as you can see, the setup is not so bad. And then it comes over here and then just gets basically taken all the way down in this lovely setup that's right here and as you can see it just goes half and half so you know it's easy easy stuff not a problem not a problem then we get into the final set of wire over here which is da, 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 eight of these lovely constructors so we have half going here half going there oh but this one's not so easy see two-thirds of it have to be sent down to the bottom one while one-third has to be set on the top and you're probably wondering why is that so? Why would you need two thirds on one and one third on another for every single floor? Well, if you come down here to take a look at what I got going on here, which is craziness to say the least, uh, you'll see that all these lovely things over here, they couldn't fit all the wire on one belt. So the middle one goes over and it splits and takes care of six manufacturers total where the top one is up here on the top and that takes care of only three manufacturers total. Oh, two thirds and one third. I see what you did there. While the other three ingredients that we need are evenly distributed around the whole thing. So iron plates, iron rods, cable, no problem. It's just the wire that there was quite a bit to deal with. But overall, that was it was actually not as bad as I thought it would. Separating them into like the different sections and stuff like that really help to make it easy, efficient, and going through. And uh, it's not the end of the world, but I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it actually was. It did take up a lot of space, though, and I'm going to have to rebuild this same thing at least two more floors. But, whew, oh boy, this, this was a big fun one, I gotta say. Look at all this stuff that I'm going to have to copy and go up. But let me copy this a couple more floors, and we'll get on to the next project. In just a matter of seconds, it appears! Well, just in a second. <laughs> uh, it actually wasn't so bad rebuilding it over and over again. You know, it's the usual kind of stuff. You get used to it after a while. You know, nothing too bad. You just got to make sure that everything is hooked up properly. And uh, I wish I had actually the stuff in here because then I could test it out. Now, as you do notice, I do build from like the end of the project to the beginning of the project so I can't really test anything out as it's going but you know I definitely have plenty of space and it's as compact as possible so with the wire being done let's knock that off the list nailed it I just need steel pipes screws iron plates and iron rods basically four more items to go um, because we've done all this stuff over and over again they're all different kind of constructors I'm just gonna knock out the first floor so we can just see the whole entire thing because let's face it we've done all these different projects before you guys really know how to set the stuff up and it's kind of like trial and error you just set it up you see what you go you make sure the numbers work out good Oh man, if I could fit it in there's just this area right here and it'd be even, oh, that would be so cool. But anyway, give me a moment, shouldn't take that long. To say that this took a while is a little bit of an understatement, but yes, it was fun nonetheless. Oh my god, all the different projects we have, whew, they, came, they all came out quite nicely. Oh, but let me show you this one real quick. Um, I did choose the original screws made from iron rods in this, and there's actually a reason behind that. So if you see the alternate recipe for like uh, cast iron screws where it's iron ingots into screws, uh, you can see that it's like, okay, is it making more? Is it making it easier? 
Well, okay, so this original recipe right here, what it does is for every 50 or every 12.5, you're making 50, so it's basically times four. So for every, you know, one iron ingot, you basically get four screws. Now, if you choose the original screw recipe, you see it's the same damn thing. For every 10 iron rods, you're going to get four screws. And what this does is it saves you in terms of space. So you don't have as many constructors and all that kind of stuff. Whereas this one right here, basically, look, I mean, look at that. For every one steel beam, you get 52. 52 for every one steel beam. The only problem is, most people don't see this, if you actually go into your alternate recipes, actually not the re alternate recipes, it's actually the original recipe. So if you go into your original recipe and stick steel beam, so for every four steel ingots, it's one steel beam. So you need a lot of ingots to make one steel beam. But if you have this alternate recipe for rods, it's one steel ingot makes four rods. And basically that would make 40 and 40 times four, that's like what, 166 or something like that. So it amplifies the amount of screws that you can make with less steel ingots. That recipe, oh my God, works out so well. So I was looking into it and I'm like running the numbers and I'm like, well, why does this one work great? But that one doesn't. So anyway, so I have groups of 11 so 33 of these constructors all just making screws because if I didn't I would have way too many screws that could fit on one belt and trust me that's not going to be a good time even though it would have saved space doing it the other way and as you can see right here I have everything set up just perfectly so we have all these wonderful things over here I believe it was uh, 19 or something like that <laughs> making steel pipes and getting separated evenly for that because it's basically an even split going all the way down there hooked in and getting sent around easy peasy for the steel beams no problem then we come into this little caveat right here which is the steel rods i didn't realize this at first and i had all the steel rods going but it's some steel rods go out to one thing while the other steel rods go out to the other thing making the screws so yep basically i got uh you know Actually, see if I can show it right here. I got 48 going in the thing over there, and then I got another one being divided into three. So this one right here gets divided into three, and one third of it goes in there and is combined with a nice 48, and then the other two thirds of it get combined together and sent back around with the other stuff making the screws. So easy peasy, not that bad. I actually like the setup that it did, and I was lucky enough to have enough room to do all this stuff. And then as you can see here, it goes all the way down and bit split up into three. Easy peasy. So the next thing that we got going on over here, all right, because that's over here. That's going to be the steel. The next thing we got over here is going to be the iron plates. Now, iron plates were a bit fun one, but overall, they're pretty easy. I got two setups for iron plates. Uh, one going for, oh my god, what was the thing? Uh, beacons. And then the other one is going for the reinforced iron plates with the screws. So the bigger one over here, as you can see, trying to get all this to be merged together properly so I can make sure that I get the reinforced iron plates done correctly. Oh, huge pain in the butt, but overall, I think they just look fantastic. Everything got separated nice and neat, and it is looking glorious. Easy peasy, no problem. How many times can I say easy peasy in this? A lot more if I keep mentioning it. <laughs> but the last thing that I had going on over here, oh my god, I forgot to connect that. Sorry. All right, give me one second. There we go. Oh, OCD feels so much better. As you can see, I got 60 coming off of here, and they get separated, and the 30 goes basically up. That one gets separated with 30, 30, and 30 combined together, and trust me, I just, I did the math on all this stuff. I just don't want to go over it. <laughs> but anyway, if you come down here, you can see that the way that it has set up, uh, I, I don't know if I showed this before, but this one right here is nice and even. But if we come over to some of these other ones, like this one, sure, okay, everything's nice and easy for the beacons. Everything's divided by three, like I said earlier. But let's go, oh, come on. Let's go over here. And as you can see, I have 
Oh, the reinforced iron plates. This is like the biggest headache of doing all this stuff. The plates and the screws are a pain in the freaking butt. Trying to get these all set up just perfectly. This is the one thing that took the most amount of time is trying to set up these right here. Because one of them basically takes care of three and one of them takes care of two. But if you go up to the third floor, it's a three and a three setup. Uh, you know, something like this. So, yeah, I'm going to have to separate it nice and evenly because, of course, I needed an extra one up here to take care of those extra five uh, nice little manufacturers over there to get that 95 total. Uh, but overall, this is not going to be that bad. Oh, I forgot to click the recipe. Dang it. You hate when you come back over and you're like, why is this not working perfectly? And then you figure out that's the issue. Uh, also, I'm going to have to make sure all this runs just fine before I can do... Induce and before I actually put the uranium in there and then see what really happens <laughs> But anyway, that's all of them taken care of nice and neat I just have to make this up two more times and figure out how to divide all these screws Because one setup's gonna need only 500 screws with the other one's gonna need 750 so you know I could figure that out. But of course, the top one's going to be 750 and another 750. So I might have to push some of them going straight up just so I could have it even for each and every level. But anyway. <laughs> I don't know which more be more appropriate, the Jaws theme, duh, duh, or some epic music going, hey, no, hey, who, ha, ha, or however it goes, I can't do it right. But ladies and gentlemen, we finished all the base components. Yes, look at this glorious monstrosity of so many different items just crammed into one, and we still, we still have some more space to spare. Oh, that is amazing. Of course, there's still a lot more things to go, not to mention setting it up so I can actually, you know, get it to work. But as you can see, three floors of glorious. But anyway, looking at the spreadsheet of Doom, you can see all the base components have been completed. We have the main thing, steps one through four, and the base components that are complete. Yay! And it only took a few actual machines. No way, actually. So, funny thing. I put all the way down on the bottom. So, uh, the next up is ingots. We're going to have to be finishing that up on the next episode. And then we can run all the different, like, trains around the world to get it all to go together. But there's some stuff, like, you know, littered throughout there, like limestone and stuff like that. That's going to have to go through there. But, you know, it's this or that, all that good stuff. But all the way down here on the bottom, you can see this is how many like manufacturers, assemblers, constructors, all that different stuff that went into this project or that's going to go into this project. Of course, I haven't, you know, calculated the water extractors because God knows that's going to be insane, let alone the minor Mark III's. But whew, we'll, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Luckily, I made sure that there's no oil extractors. Don't want to use any oil for this project. But everything is looking good. I'm, I'm so proud of how this project is coming along. It's the biggest project I've ever done. Well, so that's going to be it for this project today. We're going to work on the ingots in the next one. Also, this area over here, I was thinking this might be the perfect place to put all the wonderful like nuclear reactors and whatnot. So we're going to see how that goes when I start building those up. I'm, I'm just thinking it's like a perfect spot for it right next to here. Not to mention we got plenty of space for all the ingots as well as all the different train station setups that we're going to have to go. So this is going to be quite fun coming up in the next episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. That really does help make these videos so much more better. I'm able to do even more and put them out there, and it really gets me motivated for doing all the next ones. I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. You guys have been the best. I appreciate you guys getting me to 1,500 subscribers. I know it doesn't seem that much, but it means a lot to me. But anyway, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.